we're going to use the definition of the derivative to differentiate f of x equal to the square root of cosine of x. So to do it, we'll need the following results. The first result is the trig identity cosine of alpha plus beta is equal to cosine of alpha times cosine of beta minus sine of alpha times the sine of beta. Second thing we'll need is the limit as h goes to 0 of sine of h over h is 1. And the third result is that the limit as h approaches 0 of cosine of h minus 1 over h is equal to 0. So let's begin. Let's recall the definition of the derivative. The derivative is defined as the limit h approaches 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And in our case, let uh, h go to 0 of so limit h approaches 0. The function is square root of cosine of x. So f of x plus h is square root of cosine of x plus h minus f of x. That's square root of cosine of x divided by h. Now the first step we have to do is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So that's square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x and of course divided by itself square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x. The next thing is we'll go ahead and multiply these. The numerator is not going to have a radical in it anymore. So this is limit h approaches 0. We have cosine of x plus h minus cosine of x divided by h times square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x. And now let's apply result number 1 to cosine of x plus h. So this will be limit as h approaches 0 expanding cosine x plus h using the trig identity we have cosine of x times cosine of h minus sine of x times the sine of h and then we had minus cosine of x and this is all divided by h times the square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x. Now notice that the term here cosine x cosine h and cosine x right here have cosine x in common so the next step is to factor out cosine x. This becomes the limit as h goes to 0. We factor out cosine of x and that leaves cosine of h minus 1 and then we have minus sine x times sine h. And the denominator didn't change. It's still h times the square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x. Now let's write this as a difference of two limits. The first limit is so this is the limit as h approaches 0. We have cosine of x times cosine h minus 1 all over h times the square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x and minus the second limit, limit as h approaches 0 of sine of x times the sine of h and this is also divided by h times the square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x. 
Now let's break these up into or write these as products of two limits each. The first one we have limit as h approaches 0 cosine of h minus 1 over h times the limit as h approaches 0 of cosine of x divided by the square root of cosine of x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x minus the limit as h approaches 0 sine h over h times the limit as h goes to 0 sine of x in the numerator and the denominator has the square root cosine x plus h plus the square root of cosine of x. And let's take a look. This limit that I'm circling here is result number 3. That limit is 0. So we take 0 as that limit times the second limit here. We just want to make sure it's defined. It's cosine of x divided by a square root of cosine of x plus the square root of cosine of x and then minus this limit here that I'm circling that's result number two that's limit is one so minus one times the numerator there are no h there so it's sine of x divided by the square root of cosine of x plus the square root of cosine of x well let's simplify this this is zero times cosine of x divided by 2 times the square root of cosine of x. Well, that's 0. 0 times this expression cosine x over 2 square root of cosine x. That will be 0 minus sine of x divided by 2 the square root of cosine of x. And so that's our final answer. The final answer is if f of x is equal to the square root of cosine of x. We just derived, found its derivative by definition of the derivative. f prime of x is equal to minus sine x divided by 2 times the square root of cosine of x. For more videos, visit www.mathprepvideos dot com